I've never seen anyone cry at an artwork except his. He was one of the great humanists among artists of the 20th century. And just a master. Technically, the man was just a brilliant artist. White was born in Chicago in 1918 and studied at the School of the Art Institute starting actually when he was a seventh grader. He spent much time in the galleries as a child. My mother, when she went shopping, would leave me at the public library. The Art Institute of Chicago was in close proximity. I wanted to the galleries, studying each picture. I remember Winslow Homer became one of my favorite painters and George Ennis, the early Hudson River School landscape. He would take trips with his mother, starting about age nine, down to Mississippi, meet these aunts. Aunt Bessie, Aunt Missouri, uh, Hasty Baines. We had great aunts that were enslaved, so they were able to talk about that experience. And to have that kind of first count experience is really, it's insightful. I've tried to deal with beauty, the beauty and man, and that essentially I feel that man is basically good. I have to start from this premise and all my work. And even though the work is often depicting uh, scenes uh, from the black community, it's not just speaking to the black community. His work was dedicated to bringing people together and creating understanding. We all face these kind of things of feeling like maybe our voice isn't heard, feeling shut down individually. I don't feel that when I look at my father's work.